Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on hydrostatic forces on surfaces. So in this video, we are going to solve a problem about curved surface submerged in liquid. So first, I will read what is the given problem. A cylinder 3 meter in diameter and 4 meter long retains water on one side. The cylinder is supported as shown in figure. Determine the horizontal reaction at A and vertical reaction at B. The cylinder weighs 196.2 kN, ignore friction. So this was the given problem. Now let us first understand what is the given diagram. If we observe this is the half part of this cylinder is in contact with water. So we can say that there is the pressure force is getting applied by this water to this curve C D B. So we have to show this pressure force. Now this shape is the curve shape. So this pressure force is in the inclined direction. So I will show here. So this is the force F. Now we have to resolve this force F into two components that is the horizontal component and vertical component. So here is the horizontal component that is Fx and here is the vertical component that is Fy. So this, this force is getting resolved. Now what is the question that we have to find out what is the reaction at point A and at point B. Now if we observe this cylinder is in contact with this point A. Now there is the vertical surface at point A that is fixed and here at point B the point B is the support to the cylinder. Now we have to show what is the direction of this reaction forces at point A and B. Now if we observe this cylinder is in contact with this vertical fixed surface. So reaction is always perpendicular to the surface. So we have to show the reaction. So I will show here the reaction force at point A that is RA. So here is the RA. And here the fixed surface is this horizontal. So where is the reaction at point B that is in the vertical direction. And these reactions are acting towards this cylinder. So here is the RB. So we have to find out what is the value of Ra and what is the value of Rb. Now there is the weight of cylinder is also given. So we know that weight always acts in vertically downward direction and from the center of the center of gravity point of the cylinder. So here we have to show this weight W that is in downward direction. So to find out this, find the value of this Ra and Rb, we have to first find out what is the value of Fx and Fy. So we will first move for the calculation of Fx. So what is the value of Fx? That is the force of water on a vertical plane projected by this curve CdB. Now what is the meaning of vertical plane of this curve CdB and why only curve CdB is taken because this curve CdB is in contact with water so the uh, pressure force by water is getting applied to this curve. So here is the three dimensional diagram so this is the point CdB. So how to find out the vertical plane projected. So here the length of the cylinder is given 4 meter. So we have to show this length and this is the three dimensional diagram. So this length is 4 meter. So we have to complete this three dimensional diagram. So this length is 4 meter and what is this height that is distance C to B. So here is the distance C to P and that is equal to 3 meter. So suppose this distance is 3 meter and here is 4 meter then this is the rectangular part that we can show this is the vertical plane. So vertical plane is passing through this end point of the curve. So we have to take here one edge as the end point of the curve and this is the vertical plane. So we have to take this area for this rectangular surface. So what is the area that is 3 multiplied by 4 and then what is the h bar. So h bar is the distance of center of gravity point from the free surface of water. 
so distance of center of gravity so this is the curve and we know that the center of gravity is always at the middle point so what is the total height of this curve that is 3 meter so where is the center of gravity point that is 3 divided by 2 now free surface of water is up to this point c so we have to take here from this point c what is the distance of middle point that is 3 by 2 that we have to take so how to calculate this fx so fx is formula is rho g a h bar so rho means density of water 1000 g 9.81 a area so this 3 multiplied by 4 and h bar means this 3 divided by 2 so when we calculate this we will get answer 1,76,580 newton now we will move for calculation of fy that is this is the vertical component of the force so how to calculate so Fy means weight of water enclosed by the curve BDC. Now why only curve BDC is taken? Because this curve BDC is in contact with water. So how to enclose this curve? Because this at point B and at point C the curve is open. So we have to just join this point B and C and then for this curve or for this enclosed area. So what is the enclosed area? B, D, C, O, B. So this is the enclosed area and in this in enclosed area we have to find out what is the weight of water. So what is the formula for the weight of water? That is rho into G into volume of area of that particular area. So how to calculate the volume? So volume means what? This area for this C, D, B, O, A multiplied by length. So if we observe this three dimensional diagram, we have to first calculate the area for this half cylinder. And then if we multiply with this length, then we will get the volume. So we will take what is the area for this half cylinder. That is, this is the half circular portion. So for this half circular portion, what is the formula pi by 2 R square? So when we put the values then what we get here rho means 1000 g means 9.81 l that is 4 and area pi by 2 r square that is pi by 2 into r is 1.5 1.5 square. So what is the answer here 1,38,684 newton. Now we have to find out this r a and r b. So for equilibrium of cylinder now we will balance the horizontal forces. So what are the horizontal forces here on this cylinder? So here this fx that is the direction is towards the right hand side and here ra that is it is in the opposite direction. So we can say that fx is equal to ra. So what is ra that is equal to fx and that is equal to 1,76,580 newton. Now in the same way again we will balance all the vertical forces. So how many vertical forces are there? So here is Fy which is acting in upward direction. Then Rb which is acting in upward direction. And only W which is acting in downward direction. So how we can say that? We can say that Fy plus Rb which is equal to W. Because these two are in the same direction and W is in opposite direction. So now we have to find out the vertical reaction at point B that is RB. So RB is equal to W minus FY. So when we calculate this, so we know W. So now if we observe W is given in kilonewton that is 196.2 kilonewton. So what is the standard unit in newton? So again we have to multiply here with 1000 that is 1,96,200 newton. So when we calculate this, we will get here 57,516 Newton and this is the answer.